Chapter 15. By the investigation of the police, when I was reading the police report of the investigation, I was so surprised and shocked. Surprised. Somebody can go into politics to come and serve their community or their nation and they can be killed. Somebody is thinking of killing you. Then Pierre, I tell you, who's sorry and no from You don't believe it, but I'm telling you. Yeah. I have made a very, very controversial statement. When you are praying by warfare, channel some of the prayer to your church. There are demons seated as human beings in your church who are willing to kill you. To kill you. I just made a very controversial statement. Yeah. If I am saying that people want to kill you in church, then as for politics, you bet I am I am honestly speaking, Mrs. Apart, I, I pray for all our politicians, including the wicked ones, the venomous beast, brute beast. I pray for all of them. These honorables, not all of them are honorable. Some of them are ready to, you know, push a blade through and slit your throat in broad daylight. A nation that is 67 is ready to poison people to death. They are ready to do so. What are they looking for? Power. How sure are you about that power? How sure are you about that power? Who said you will win the next election? Who said so? Who said MPP will win the next election? Who is saying that? Now, who is it? It is God who make leaders. Yeah. Daniel chapter number 4 and verse number 17. The Bible makes a submission in the scriptures. Look at this. It said, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high, tie ye, tie ye, the most high rules in the kingdom of men. God! One as you will be your hina or your hina. Men found your mobile you are already killing people's fathers and their husbands look at the pain you have caused this young pastor lady the wife of the MP is a woman of God she is a pastor she preaches the gospel you went to touch the anointed of the Lord when the Bible said touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm I'm telling you why up to today Ghana is crawling. There is blood on our hands. Blood of innocent people, including JB Dankwa Edu, including JB Dankwa Senior, uh, including the blood of our, you know, fathers who we kill by petty party sentiments, political sentiments. You kill somebody's husband. And it will shock you that the people that are writing, oh, honorable, rest in peace, huh, are the masterminding orchestration behind the honorable. Be very careful because if you are not, you can die before your time. I just told you something. That the honorable died. Died, says it died 45 years full of blood old men are walking about 45 years you are ready to kill old men are walking about we have we have tenacity and strength to think of useless things like let's let's take him out let's let's take him down we are ready to do that. But we are not ready to fight against madness like LBGTIQ+. We are not ready to, you know, 
can I mean can you imagine a sovereign nation like Ghana standing here and they are begging and saying that oh Ghanaians take it easy because if we sign this document it simply means that we will not get aid you are 67 and thinking of aid 67 what does you tell me chance in Gobi what was you at the chance in Abahada you are a shameful nation. You are a disgraceful nation. You are a nation reduced to nothing. I'm talking to Ghana. Because, listen to what I'm about to tell you. There are wicked people in nice clothes. Wicked men and women in nice clothes. There are people that are ready to shed innocent blood. I want to stand here and commiserate with that woman of God. Your husband did not deserve to die. You may be looking at it from a news angle. Oh, a news binaba. Dr. Grace Boyd was buried yesterday. A fool. Less than 30, less than 40 years. A fool. So then now you see that the nation is ready to sacrifice emerging blood. Older people are walking about in service. Older women are ministers. Where are the young people? Where are the young people? I stood creative, sharp to be able to do stuff. Because the young people are not ready, you know, to take responsibility. I love it when my father, Reverend Eastwood, made a statement during the reloaded. He said, how can they rest and hand over to the next generation when the next generation have no preparation or preparedness to take the baton? And so, you know, we are like a people running a baton relay race. Listen, where, you know, I run and I have to, I ought to give the baton to the next person. So then now you see that the nation is ready to sacrifice emerging blood. Finish line to meet the person waiting for the baton. We drop it halfway and run to the finish line. So by the time we get to the finish line, there is no baton for that generation. So the generation will have to run back to where we dropped it and go and pick it and run forward. So God is always running back. There's no way we will escape the anger of God. It will be revealed. The Bible is making a submission here from heaven against all ungodliness and all unrighteousness, including cheating, including husband snatching, including snatching your neighbor's boyfriend or girlfriend, unrighteousness and ungodliness, including abortion, including murder, like the one of the honorable yeah the people who are sitting in their rooms thinking that it will just die off after two weeks and then life moves on vengeance is of the lord and god will repay god will repay vengeance is of god and the lord will repay there is no way you will get away with it all the people who shot the judges and the generals their blood is on your head their blood is on your head and I'm telling Ghana until we come to the place of repentance and uh, you know submitting to the leadership and to the lordship of Jesus Christ we are joking because our brothers the Muslims never spend one cent from national coffers, they have built a national mosque. We are here fighting to take national money. You don't have hospitals. In my research, I found something. I was looking at the, 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 the best, top best 200, 250 hospitals in the world. 
and there was not a single African hospital. 250 top best University of Ghana Medical Center was not part of it. Kolebu was not part of it. G was not part of it. Police hospital was not part of it. 37 was not part of it. Now let me finish like this. DMP who, was, who died was being transported from Kumase to Accra. He was in an ambulance. When they got to Suhum, they realized this thing is getting serious. They branched to Suhum Government Hospital. You call that a hospital? Suhum Government Hospital is a hospital? Mujare! Mujare. You are a sick nation. Now, give me silence. Let me say this. President Rollins died at Kolebu. President Mills died at 37. Parkwesi in Mr. Atta died at 37. You call all these hospitals. Even the military people now, when you go to 37, they will tell you there is no bed. Military people, people who are, they build the hospital for them. So when I talk, how do you feel? The MP was traveling to Germany. Are you okay? For Yarini, Yadene, called Germany. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. When we say President Biden in the hospital, we had that. Guys! Christian nation! Think! Think! To whom government hospital does not and will not until we fix it, will not have the capacity to heal anybody in the case of an emergency. Take a talk to Kolebu. No hatred to anybody. Just go around. Here we are. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. Musha. I want to say to the family of the MP, sorry. Sorry. We are very sorry. Because we are a nation who does not learn. We didn't learn anything from Rollins' experience, Ms. Arthur's experience, and Mills' experience. So, this is what will be happening. In proper hospitals, like the ones I was talking about, they can airlift somebody. Helicopter can land on the hospital. We put the patient in the hospital. We fly that person to a bigger place or a more resource place. There is no air ambulance in this nation except the Air Force. Hospital be any plane. America, one hospital can have about five planes. Ambulance service. Yeah, the ambulance. 